Hey everybody, welcome back to Danae's Backyard Garden and today we are going to plant some corn. Stay tuned. I'm going to attempt to grow my corn in this Dollar Tree garden bag. Now, this is how the bag looks expanded. When I did the math, um, let's, let's go back over here, y'all. My bad. When I did the math, it's a 30 by 24 inch. So when I did it for the math with the square foot and square foot gardening, that means I can fit 20 ears, 20 seeds in this grow bag. If you follow Square Foot Gardener, you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm going to set this bag up. I'm going to put something under it because someone said that it's not um, easy to move or it'll break because it's cheap when you move it. So I'm going to put something under it and we are going to plant some corn. I have my corn soaking in water. So let's get this started, y'all. All right, so I got my little helper out here helping me fill up. So I put this little white thing under here. So if I need to move it, I can move it without moving the bag. And I got my soil in here. I'm probably going to do about 10 inches worth of soil. Then I'm going to moisten the soil and I'm going to plant it. The only reason why I'm pre-moistening is because they are corn seeds. Put them in, baby. Good job. Thank you, Stinker. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to put my holes in and I'm going to show y'all me planting it. All right. So... I'm going to moisten the soil really good. And I kind of want to test how this bag drains. Because some people on a couple Facebook groups I'm in said I don't need holes in it. And this bag seeps out. I guess it's kind of like a grow bag. And I have a lot of peat moss in this soil. He's still filling it up, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to soak it real good. Okay. Almost forgot, y'all. I'm going to put some fertilizer in here. So I'm going to put a little bit of fertilizer just on the top layer. Then I'm going to start playing. I heard that corn are heavy feeders, so I'm going to make sure I feed them real good. All right, so I'll put a whole bunch of holes here. And let me pour some of this water off. <laughs> you see that? Eh? All right, so I got a couple of holes here. I didn't count them, but it's probably about 20. What are you talking about, Stinker? So I have my pre-motion pre-soaked seeds here. I'm just gonna drop them in a hole. Like Lead Farmer 73 say, drop it in a hole, you got soul food. <laughs> that was always so funny to me. We would say that. So I'm gonna finish that here and I'll show y'all when I'm done. Alright, so y'all know corn has to be close together so they can fertilize each other. Well they fertilize by the wind, so they need to be close to each other. So I'm just going to cover these holes up. And then I am going to water it again. Alright. Oh, that sprouted, y'all. Check them out. 